Hi, welcome to AutoCAD 2022 video tutorial. Another one in the dynamic blocks series. Let's take a look. I've got one dynamic block, which has just one grip. And that grip controls the sizes of those three rectangular shapes. But see, if you stretch the magenta one, the orange one will be stretched as well, but five times as much. And the cyan one will be stretched only one-fifth of the magenta one. So I've got one perimeter, but three actions. So let's have fun with AutoCAD. Okay, I've already prepared three rectangles and three hatch patterns. A cyan one, an orange one, a magenta one. Now I want to create a block. Let's call this one rectangle. Pick point might be the bottom left corner, and these are the objects. And let's open this in the block editor. Now I want to add one linear parameter from this corner to that corner, and this should have only one grip, so go to the properties and change it to one grip only. Now I want to add three actions. First action, a stretch. That's the perimeter. This is the perimeter point. That's the frame for the stretching. And these are the objects. Right click. Now I've got one action. I want to add another stretch action. Same perimeter, same point. But now I want to stretch that shape here. Right click. And another one. That's the perimeter, and this is the point, and now I want to stretch that rectangle like this, right click. If I now test this, you will see all three rectangles will be stretched the same amount. And now I want to change that. So let's go to the second action. Go to the properties and change the distance multiplier from 1 to maybe 5. Which means if I stretch this one 10 millimeters, that will be stretched 50 millimeters. Now let's go to the third action. Go to the properties and again change that distance multiplier. But now I want to change it to 0 0.2. Which means if I stretch this one 50 millimeters, this will be stretched 10 millimeters. Let's test that block. Select the block and now I can stretch this but I might add a value set to this parameter. So go for a distance type increment. Increment might be 10 and it should run from 100 up to 200. Now again test it and now you will see, let's zoom in a little bit, if you select it and stretch this one by 10 millimeters, see the orange one will be stretched 50 millimeters, five times as much. And if I stretch with the magenta one 50 millimeters, the same one will be stretched only one fifth. 10 millimeters. So these distance multipliers allow me to stretch those rectangles with different lengths. Let's close that test block, save it and close the block editor. And I'm done. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like, leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like, leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cafe page. It would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.